Hello everyone. I know it's going to be hard to hear me, but we have our masks on as part of our protocol. Um, we are actually at the Animal Emergency Referral Center with Cougar Andre. As you know, we do a lot of our vet work on site at the Wildcat Sanctuary, um, but today Andre, after two vet visits of diagnostics at the sanctuary, uh, we realized he has an obstruction in his stomach and wanted uh, to take the most precaution we could. And we've came down to uh, the emergency center who we have a relationship with that was fully staffed today to be able to see him. So they are prepping him for surgery right now. Yeah. <laughs> They're wanting the site to be clean. Sorry, they were just cleaning up. They want the surgery site to be very sterile. Um, so Andre, um, we have some suspected ideas that one night when Andre was locked in, him and the other cats were given enrichment of cardboard, which is usually safe. And usually if they chew it, it passes quite easily. But we noticed Andre was not his ravenous self at feeding time. And uh, we did radiographs on Friday internally at the sanctuary and saw that his stomach um, was full of kind of a natural looking substrate, something a little opaque. And so best case scenario, our vets and us gave him a lot of supportive care fluids and was hoping that his body could break down that substrate and it would start moving through his digestive tract. So over the weekend, he was watched carefully Yesterday, Elise Rio and I, um, under Dr. Camper's supervision, uh, sedated him, checked radiographs again, and the contents of his stomach had not moved any further into his intestine, what meant to us that he wasn't going to be able to break down that substrate. So we reached out to exa uh, Animal Emergency Referral Center um, to see if they had time today to go in and do surgery to remove the contents of the stomach, which um, he can't pass. And we're assuming, sorry, I have my mask on, so I know it's hard to hear me, but we're assuming it's cardboard or some grassy area that um, he ate. And so we are prepping him for surgery. Um, we suspect Andre is gonna be just fine after recovery, uh, but these are always stressful times because ever doing surgery on a big cat and entering the stomach or GI, track, GI contract can have complications, but he's in the best of hands. Um, as you know, we will always do what's best for our cats. And so uh, coming down to a surgery site that was fully staffed today, even though our vets are capable of the surgery, we all decided was the best option since we had time and we weren't in an emergency. Um, and our vets are working at their clinics today as well. So we made this decision. So whenever we come to an emergency center or the University of Minnesota, we know the investment to come here is gonna be several thousand dollars for a surgery like this, but we never hesitate because it's the right decision for Andre. Um, so he's going into surgery now, so if you can, donate at this link or anything else um, it will go directly towards andre surgery we assume it's going to be several thousand dollars uh, when shadow came in for her surgery here and they did an awesome job we uh were at about seven thousand dollars for both of her visits but to do the right thing for the animal and make sure everything's fine we uh, wouldn't change the plan at all because this is what he needs so any donation at this link or donating to his medical expenses is always appreciated it is not something we hold ransom to go get the cat uh, the inf the help they need we obviously will do that under any circumstance but we always welcome any type of support for finances for um emergency surgeries like this so we will keep you guys updated keep him in your thoughts 
We are heading into surgery right now. Good afternoon, everyone. You can see Andre is just uh, been taken off the operating table. The surgery went extremely well and smooth. Uh, Andre, who has 11 years old, he's a cougar, he has always um, been great with his enrichment and never had any issues, but last week he was given a cardboard box. I'm going to turn that off. He was given a cardboard box and actually um, ingested it versus chewing it and spitting it out. And so the caretakers, oops, the caretakers were um, watching him closely and we saw that his appetite decreased and he was not himself. And our diagnostics at the sanctuary showed that he had a large amount of some type of kind of soft substrate in his belly. And all of the vets, um, thought that with it being a soft substrate that stomach acid should break it down and he should have been able to pass it. So we gave it a couple days and did radiographs again and we noticed it wasn't breaking down. So we scheduled um, surgery here today at the Animal Emergency Referral Center. And the reason he couldn't break it down is because he consumed a lot of his cardboard enrichment and so cardboard is usually safe because they're not chewing it. They're just tearing it apart and they might um, swallow a piece or two that's digestible. But he chose to uh, gnaw on it and consume more than he should have. So I'm so glad for the caretakers noticing he was off, noticing some of his enrichment was missing, um, and thankful for the staff today. So surgery went well. Uh, it had only been in his stomach, so nothing had gone and impacted his intestines yet. So it was um, a good surgery, the best to be expected, and we're so thankful for everybody. Um, when we come to the emergency clinic, it is the right thing to do for our cats, and we're so thankful for the staff here. Uh, but it does cost money, and your donations are always welcome to help um, cover the costs of a big surgery like this for a big cat. And so anybody that wants to donate towards our medical expenses is so appreciated, especially because caring for 117 big cats, medicine and surgeries and preventative care cost a lot. Most people don't know, for example, like Tiger Mohan, who's on his pain and arthritic, arthritic medication, is $1,200 a month just to give him comfort care. Um, another example, when we immobilize a big cat like a tiger, the drugs alone cost about $500 for a vet exam. So things add up. A surgery like today will be several, several thousands of dollars. Um, but we never let finances get in the way of doing what's right for the animal because that's what our mission is, is to the best for all the animals in our care. So right now it's recovery. So what they're doing is they're giving him some more fluids, um, IV, since he was a little dehydrated um, from having the contents in his stomach. And then once he has all his fluids, he will be put back into his crate here and they will take him off the isofluorine gas and they might need to give him an injectable reversal. And we will wake him up here, un, um, take out his intubation tube and then we'll be on our way back to the sanctuary. So if you're new, we ask you to go definitely visit our live posts. We were showing live posts today that uh, Cougar Andre had abdominal surgery for an obstruction in his stomach. He did extremely well during surgery. 
<laughs> and they're now just monitoring him a little bit, giving him some more fluids before we wake him up. So his belly was shaved. I'm not gonna touch his uh, surgery site. It's kind of on the downside, but uh, he did extremely well during surgery. And they were able to move all the foreign body uh, pieces of cardboard that he chewed on. <laughs> we'll go up and take a look at his face. So again, if you're just Joining us, we're waiting for Andre Cougar to recover. They're doing fluids, monitoring as anesthesia. He's recovered from surgery. They're discussing his wake-up protocol right now. And we're so thankful for everybody who donates and supports the Wildcat Sanctuary cause. It always allows us to make the right decision for the animal in need. And this was the best decision for Mr. Andre. Once we learned he would not be able to pass what was in his belly on his own. So uh, his recovery will, though his sutures um, will not be coming out. He's got dissolvable sutures on the outside of his belly. He will be in quarantine probably for about seven to 10 days making sure he's eating well, making sure there's no post-op infection, and then he will be reintroduced back into his habitat with the other four cougars he lives with. So if you're just tuning in, we're just um, discussing recovery with Cougar Andre, who just recovered from surgery here at the emergency clinic. He's doing really well. And I'm going to try and be helpful and sign off because I know they might need another pair of hands. But again, want to thank everybody who's donated to his surgery so far. And we will keep you updated on how he does. But he's going back into his crate right now. And we'll keep you posted over the next few days how he does once he's back at the sanctuary.